All right, what is going on guys? So chances are, if you clicked on this video, you have a laptop where you're thinking about upgrading the specs or you're trying to figure out if you can upgrade the specs because you don't wanna shell out money for a completely new laptop, which for one, I'll say, good choice. Now this computer right here, I will be giving away, but before I do that, I just want to upgrade the specs and I'm going to show you guys how to do so and things that you should look out for as well. So this computer right now has 128 gigabytes of storage and four gigabytes of RAM, which is criminal in today's computer world. Um, so first and foremost, what you should do is open up the bottom of the laptop and see what you're working with. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you're probably wondering why I have this gift card here. And I would say any gift card, credit card works. You don't need a specific computer opening tool, although that is ideal. This is just, you know, if you just have stuff lying around in the house and you wanna open up your laptop. So once you have all the screws undone, my recommendation is kind of tuck it towards yourself and pull down in order to expose one of the corners and shimmy your card in between the opening that's going to appear right here. So I'm just going to pull down, just like that, I'm able to get in. And then you just wanna kind, kind of go around the laptop while trying to push the card in. So you'll start hearing clips being undone and then from there you can kind of just pull everything else off and we are inside the laptop. All right, so now that we have the laptop open, let me tell you guys what you might expect to see because things are very similar across all laptops. So the battery is gonna be the most obvious thing. I would highly recommend disconnecting it if you can. I don't think it's that necessary in this instance. We have this long rectangle here, skinny, and it's tied down with a screw. This is your NVMe, and this is where your storage is being kept. Now, if you do not have this section, you might have this be filled up with some type of 2.5 inch SSD. And this is a SATA drive or a SATA portion. It's nice that Acer has taped this down for me, but this is where storage can be found as well. Now, I'm just gonna leave this tape down because I'm not going to be upgrading it, but you might have either one of these storage options. This is the RAM slot that we are allowed to add additional RAM to, so all you have to do is slide in RAM in order to upgrade it. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then this is the Wi-Fi card. Speakers right here, but this is a budget laptop. This laptop is around $300. But I do wanna show you guys real quick what this might look like on a more expensive laptop that's upwards of up to $2,000. All right, so this is a gaming laptop by Lenovo and I'm just going to do the same old trick where I'm just gonna shimmy my card in here and get the clips undone. All right. All right, so compared to the budget laptop, this definitely looks more secretive, but I'm telling you, if you just start poking around and unscrewing stuff that looks to be unscrewable, I would say chances are you might have the opportunity to upgrade something. So you're probably wondering, hey, how can I upgrade the RAM on this laptop? Well, if you just start poking around, you'll see that this actually has both slots of RAM available to be upgradable, which is nice. They just have it tucked away to make it look a little bit more cleaner. And if I decide to unscrew this or this, which I will do right now, give me one second. All right, so I undid these three screws and I'm gonna lift this up very slowly. And as you can see here, this is a terabyte SSD NVMe that we have. It's just that companies like to make things look a bit more cleaner. So if you wanna upgrade the storage once again on more expensive laptops, you might have to do a little bit more digging. And on this laptop as well, this is NVMe as well. So we have two upgradable slots, but let's go back to the budget laptop. Now, there are a couple things to keep in mind, especially when it comes to upgrading the RAM. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. So what I want you to do is open up your task manager and all you need to do for that is hit Control Alt Delete. And then it's gonna be the last option task manager. All right, so memory is probably the most important thing you want to look out for when you are upgrading your laptop. So first things first, the slots used is quite important because it's showing one slot is empty. 
if both of these are being used and you opened up your laptop and you can't see any additional RAM, that just means that unfortunately your laptop can't be upgraded because the manufacturer has the RAM baked into the motherboard. But we opened up the laptop and there is one out of two slots being used. The other thing that is very important is that you need to make sure you write down the speed. As you can see here, the speed on this computer right now is 2600. Now, I don't want to confuse you guys with DDR4 and DDR5 memory, but this is a pretty easy way to find what type of memory you need to buy in order to upgrade your laptop. So all you need to do is figure out your model number. So what you need to do is type in system information into the search bar. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll see under system model, I want you to type this into Google. All right, so now that I know my model number, what I want to do is I can actually see it right here, but I'm gonna go to, go to Amazon. If Amazon isn't available to you, you can also go to your manufacturer's website. And then you'll see that this has four gigabytes of DDR4 onboard memory, one slot available. So we need to look for DDR4 2667 memory in order to have the same compatibility for our RAM upgrade. All right, now that we know what memory we want, let's talk about the storage. So once again, I said that we have an NVMe drive in here and chances are you probably have one as well. If you want to upgrade the NVMe, you can pretty much choose whatever you want. It's pretty much just gonna come down to how much storage you want. Yes, there are faster speeds and write speeds. I don't want you guys to get too focused on that. I would just say more storage is better. So for my case, I'm going to upgrade to 512 because I think terabytes a little overkill, but whatever your budget allows. Last thing that I should talk about for memory once again is your slot kind of depends on what it can take. Um, it, I, would, I would say most laptops can take up to 16 gigabytes per slot. If it doesn't work, drop down to eight gigabytes. So let's go to Amazon real quick and do some quick shopping to show you guys what you can buy. Now, you might notice if you are running on the same frequency, you might only see 2666, that's fine. As long as you're about two to three from what you have, you should be okay. I would highly recommend Western Digital. Western Digital is pretty good. Samsung makes pretty good drives. Intel makes pretty good drives. I would say anything with reputable reviews are pretty good. Um, this is very expensive, but this is two terabytes with some crazy read and write speeds. But um, I can also stand by Sabrent. They make really good drives as well. Um, and they're really solid in terms of their performance. Um, but this is 50 bucks, so do keep that in mind. Whatever your budget allows. All right, I apologize. I just noticed that the camera was focusing in and out constant, constantly. I just now fixed that. Um, but once you navigate to the install media for Windows, you can choose between Windows 10 or 11. I'm going to stick with Windows 11. And since we are upgrading from a brand new drive, we want to select create Windows 11 media. You can do an ISO if you are a little bit more tech savvy, but I would say for most people, just plug in a USB drive with at least 16 gigabytes of storage and follow the prompts for the Windows 11 install media. All right, so I did not order my parts from Amazon. I ended up just going to Micro Center, which is not too far from me, and ended up picking up the components myself for more or less the same price or a little bit less. So I got 16 gigabytes of RAM that I want to put into this laptop. It's 2666. So I should be fine, and I'll show you guys it on the back. Like that, and as you can see, I have 2666. And then I picked up a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD by Samsung. This one was like 50 bucks. And as you can see here, it's, you know, nothing special. I also got my Windows Media installer, so let's just go ahead and upgrade the laptop. All right, so my recommendation is before you upgrade the storage, you should try and upgrade the RAM first and see if you run into any issues there. So I'm just gonna pop this sucker out. And let's open up the laptop once again. All right, so when you wanna upgrade the memory, make sure that your pins align with the fittings inside the laptop as well. And you kinda of wanna come in at an angle. So it kinda of looks like this. Looks a little bit odd, but trust me, it's gonna make sense in a second. So you just wanna push down, and it might feel like you're gonna break it, but you're gonna hear a couple clicks in a second. And these two latches are actually what holds down this RAM slot. 
and that's it. So before we do the storage, let's just see if Windows, Windows recognizes the upgrade we just did for the RAM. All right, so we're just gonna open up Task Manager once again, look at the Performance tab, click on Memory, and as you guys can see, we're basically at 20. So we have, if we hover over slots used, you'll see that one of them is 16 gigabytes, which we just installed, and then four gigabytes for a total of 20. So nice, our RAM is now upgraded. Let's move on to the storage. So let's shut the computer down one more time and open up the laptop. All right, with the computer shut down, once again, locate your NVMe drive and you want to unscrew the bottom one, make sure you keep the screw right here. And as you can see, it kind of pops up a little bit and you can just slide it on out. Wow, that was horrible. Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna open up my package for the SSD that I bought. And as you guys can see, the teeth are pretty much identical. And that's why I said it really doesn't matter what type of NVMe you get, just make sure the pins match. All right, so, Back to the laptop here, we're just going to match up the pins with the fittings on the inside, kind of shimmy it on in. Take your screw, push this down, and screw in like so. And you should be good to go. So we're going to clamp the laptop shut. The second thing I want you guys to get is your USB stick with your Windows installer on it and just plug it into any USB port that you see. And now let's power it on. So my recommendation is you guys should plug in a mouse if you can, because it's gonna be a bit of a pain navigating through the Windows installer with just your keyboard because your trackpad is most likely not going to work. So that's why I have this Logitech mouse here with the dongle plugged in. All right, so now we are in the Windows installer and I'm just gonna hit next, hit install. All right, so you guys are free to scroll through this if you want to look through it, but I'm just going to hit accept and hit next. And I'm going to hit custom install and I want to select new and allocate new space for this Windows install. And I have all these different partitions and I want to choose the biggest drive here at the bottom hit next, and then the Windows install is gonna go ahead and, you know, do its thing. All right, so Windows 11 is officially done installing, and as you guys can see, I have that 500 gigabyte drive installed, it's 466 because of uh, Windows installing its extra stuff, and then I have 20 gigabytes of RAM. All right, so hopefully you guys found this informative on how to upgrade your storage and RAM inside your budget laptop or even your more expensive thousand dollar gaming laptop. It's all more or less the same in terms of the steps that you're going to do, but I appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. And as always guys, if you run into any issues, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And as always, much love. Woo, nice. $300 laptop that just got taken straight to the moon.